So this question says, which of the following is an equation of a circle in the xy plane with center 0, 4 and a radius with endpoint 4, 3, comma 5? So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually just draw a picture. I like to consider, so I'm going to call this a plug-in picture question. Um, so what I, the way that I teach students is anytime you're provided with something that can be drawn, I think it's always worth drawing it. You may not, you may not always need it, but just as a, a force of habit, I like to tell students to draw the picture, at least so that you have a visual representation of what you're reading, which may be helpful. So what do I know? I know that I have a center of my circle at 0, 0,4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So some good spacing there. So there's my 0, 0,4. And then I have an endpoint of the circle at 4 thirds, 5. So that's one, that's two. So I'm going to say four thirds is about there, four thirds. And therefore five would be pretty much at the top of my screen there. So there would be like my four thirds five. So that means my radius would be between the center and the edge of the circle right there. So then it also mentions this equation of a circle. So hopefully you remember that equation. Um, so this is like the knowledge part of this question. And that knowledge um, is the equation for a circle, which states that x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared, where h comma k is the center of the circle and r is the radius of the circle. So we're given the center, right, at 0, 4. So that means that h is equal to 0 and k is equal to 4. So that means that our generic, right, so this is what I'm going to call the generic um, circle equation, can be restated as x squared plus y minus 4 squared equals r squared. Well, why just x? Well, because h was equal to 0, so that's gone. So what can we do based upon this information? Well, we could just go on and cross out choices b and d because both of those choices have y plus 4 instead of y minus 4. The next thing that we want to do is figure out, well, what's the r value? Is it 25 ninths? Or I'm sorry, what's the r squared value, which is kind of the hint here? Is it 25 ninths or is it 5 over 3? Um, so when I look at the radius that I drew earlier, I am looking for the distance between the center and the point on the circle. I'm going to use a little trick that I like to use, which turns this into a right triangle. What do I know about this right triangle? Well, I know that this length here is four thirds, and I know that this height here is one. And I know that 4 thirds squared plus 1 squared equals c squared, right? That comes from the Pythagorean theorem. If you prefer to use the distance formula, by all means, please do. Uh, I just find that the Pythagorean theorem is a much stickier equation that most students don't forget, whereas the, the, um, the distance formula is a formula that a lot of students tend to forget pretty easily. So when I do the Pythagorean theorem on this, I find that 4 thirds squared is equal to 16 ninths. So plus 1 squared, which is 1, is equal to c squared. I keep going. I get 16 ninths plus 9 ninths, right? Because I need to have a common denominator, which leads me to 25 ninths equals c squared. And therefore... Since C is really my radius, um, I would say that well, I can square root both sides and it's 5 over 3 is equal to R, right? But don't forget, we want R squared. So I just keep it at 25 ninths, which means that the right answer here is choice A.